about shout outs last night. I'm still not doing that great. I woke up at 4 o'clock with a migraine and took one of my migraine pills and then I woke up again at 6 o'clock. Um, migraine still didn't go away so I took a second migraine pill and took my blood pressure <laughs> and my blood pressure was pretty high so I had to take one of my special blood pressure medications so I'm kind of out of it. Um, it's um, quarter to two right now. I've been up, what, since about 11.30 or so. Um, I just had a bowl of soup. My head is hurting pretty bad. It's not a migraine, but it still hurts. So I'm going to lay down here for a while, maybe take some regular Tylenol, see if that will help. Um, I don't want it to go back into a migraine, so um, we'll see what we can do. So, uh, I'm going to probably go into the garage again and organize that shelf that I put back up. I've been playing tag with somebody who has been emailing me about a position, and um, once I told him what I was looking for as far as salary, he stopped talking to me. So... It's closest I got to an interview so far, so keep working at it. Okay, so getting things back together again. I've got the the shelf back up on the wall. Got stuff back on the shelf. Starting to uh, organize things a little bit better. Still got a mess though. So that's what I've been doing today, pretty much all day. Val has migraine and it's been pretty bad all day today. So uh, I'm going to go in make her something to eat. Call it a day. Okay, you either stuck your finger... What was that? Sorry, freckles. <laughs> you either stuck your finger in a like socket or you're from the movie One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Which is it? stick out my finger. <laughs> you have another hand. You? <laughs> Did you lose that today? <laughs> Tired. You go sleep. No, no sleep. No sleep. We got work to do. Mm. Chips? Chips? <laughs> my crackers, since you won't let me have chips. <laughs> You okay, Freckles? You Freckles? No sheep! I poke you with the hot poker. And take all your junk food away. <laughs> ah, Mojo! I can't pet you and don't step on my computer because I'm working. Mm. And you don't want to work. We've already been through this. <laughs> that doesn't work. Remember, I told you that. <laughs> Weirdo. Hello, everybody. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shoutouts. I may not yell too much <laughs> because I've been fighting a headache slash migraine for two days now. But... She'll be yelling by the end of this. Yeah, story. and then I'll just take one of my migraine pills and put some ice on my head and go to sleep. And complain at me. And yeah. Get me this and yeah. get me that. Yeah. yeah we, we got yeah. an ebony attack. Hi, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Always a question with her. <laughs> okay, so we got first shout 
shout out to Landon and family. Yay, they are back. They used to be under somebody else. And I don't know if they want me to say who they were before, but they are back. So, so glad to have you guys back. We missed you so, so much. And make sure you guys go and check them out. They're not going to be set to any type of schedule. So, just when life events happen, especially in Landon's life um, growing up, they're going to be vlogging that. So, make sure to go by, check them out, give them a thumbs up, subscribe, and check their channel every once in a while for videos because they will be posting periodically. Uh, the Room TV, she has an awesome channel guys you guys need to go and check it out she posts videos like um how to deal with anxiety and social and social situations and stuff like that so it's a self-help type channel go by and check her out subscribe to her give her a thumbs up and and you know follow along rebecca ann i can't comment on your comments because you have that feature turned off on your youtube channel you can turn it on don't ask me how. Google it. It'll tell you. Um, but you wanted to do the random question tag and share the link on ours? Of course. Anybody who wants to do any of the tags that we do, even if we did not tag you, please feel free. Do the tag. And, of course, you can always put the link on our tag so other people can go from our channel to watch you do the link on your channel. Please everybody feel free you can do that sonia jones welcome to the neighborhood told you she'd get louder <laughs> video star mad has 46 stuffs blah 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 she does what <laughs> video star mad has 46 subs I thought she... and she oh, wants yeah. to get to 59 why 59 don't ask i don't know why not 60 i don't know but she requested 59. So give her 59. So, so, come on, she's at 46. We could get her to 59. I know we could do it. She does these awesome video star um, videos on her channel. Lots of special effects. Stuff. Yeah, That's she's really amazing. Cool really cool. So go check her out. Um, we got a little bit of a sad one. Uh, shout out here. Tanya Longley, her sister's um, little fur baby. Uh, Skittles um, passed away on Monday. He's a schnocker, which is a schnauzer and cocker spaniel mix. Um, so if everybody can please say a little prayer for, for Skittles, um, we would greatly appreciate that. And Tanya, tell your sister that we're thinking of her and we love you guys. Um, Mary Weather, welcome to the neighborhood. Sarah Meeks, Welcome to the neighborhood. Death's Eve. Welcome to the neighborhood. So, call today. Welcome to the neighborhood. Logan San Miguel. Welcome to the neighborhood. <sighs> wow. That's what I get for skipping a day. Okay, and now my, not yesterday's question, but the day before was, if you could only have one form of entertainment uh tv newspaper books magazines one piece of electronics what would you choose now kevin what would you choose laptop kevin would choose his laptop of course you could do many many things on your laptop you can watch netflix you can skype you can you know look up information you could get news so on and so forth so being that we are together he would have his laptop, I would want my phone. So, but that, that's pretty good. We, we did have a lot of people say computer. We did have a lot of people say um, their phone. Um, a lot of people said iPad. Um, very few said and actu actually said books. Um, I think hard book, our books are going away. Well, if the zombie apocalypse comes, what are you going to do? You can't read or use your iPod or your... Kindle or blah, blah, blah. I have to read a book. And then my question yesterday was, if you could have one special skill, what would it be? What would yours be? I would wish that I had learned the piano. I avoided it like the plague when I was a music major. 
I have an obtainable one. I mean, an unobtainable one. Yeah. And mine is to be able to heal all the cancer patients in the world. And that includes animals as well as people. So, but we had, we had a, a few interesting ones. Um, Angie, uh, Lupus Life, said meditation. I can help you with that one, Angie. Spasmodic, I love this one, and, and his is unobtainable also, but I loved it because he said that it would, he would do this for me, is to be able to control outdoor temperatures because it is going to be a hot summer. And he knows how much I hate the heat. And uh, Death's <clears throat> Eve said, better people skills. It takes practice. It really does. Okay, and my question for today is, if you can enter a time machine, what part of your life would you go and revisit? <clears throat> it's time for... Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Ow! Okay. So, yeah, it's pink. But Tracy and Knuckles gave it to me. You so got a new book. Alright. Yesterday's trivia question was from Alien, the original 1978 Ridley Scott movie with Sigourney Weaver. Uh, who designed the Alien and the Alien uh, spaceship set? That would have been H.R. Geiger. And the uh, people who got that right was first, Terry Johnson, second, Jess Lucero, and third, Bambi S. Okay, today's question is about a more recent movie. It was a comedy, actually, comedy zombie film called Warm Bodies. Um, what was that based on? It's based on a very famous story. Loosely based. That's it. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it weren't for all of you out there. We love you all so very much. I don't know what he's been drinking today, guys. I'm working on the music for the... Oh, room. is that what you're doing? Yeah. All right, we love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Make sure to go by, check out the Neighborhood Zoo, Paranormal Investigations with the Neighbors, P.I.N., Megan's Arts and Crafts, and Megan's Society 6 store, which we put links up now so you can see it. We will see you all tomorrow.